Now, a lot of you that watch my videos probably recognize this gun, or you might just recognize it because it's a kind of popular gun. Uh, it is a Beretta PX4 Storm. Now, if you do watch my videos, you know that I really like this gun. I think it's an awesome gun. I love the way it shoots. I love the ergonomics of it. I love the design of it. I just like everything about it. You also know it's the first gun I ever got a Kydex holster for. This is my Bravo Concealment Kydex holster, the RTT holster, and I loved this holster. It was the first time I ever tried a Kydex holster, and I'm like, my God, this has opened my eyes to a whole new way to carry. But uh, the only problem was I didn't want to carry this gun because it has a safety, and I won't carry guns that have safeties. Everything else about it, I love. It's double action, single action, you know, got a good trigger. It holds 17 rounds plus one, so 18 rounds of 9mm. So, just an awesome gun with everything except for except for the safety. Everything about it except for the safety I liked. So uh, wasn't going to carry it. And then someone asked me, you know, like, well, why don't you convert it from a Type F to a Type G? And I'm like, well, you know, I thought about it, but you know, I didn't know if I was going to do it or not. And uh, that's actually code for I didn't know I could do it. Uh, but now that you're mentioning it, I'm googling it so that I don't look like an idiot, uh, so that I can answer your question. But uh, I had never known you could convert it to a Type G. In fact, I didn't even know really what a Type G was. Uh, it turns out these guns come in all different types. Type C, Type F, and Type G. And there's actually another one that's like a Type D or something, but I don't understand what that one is. Uh, the Type uh, F, like this is, actually has a functional safety. The safety goes down, stays on. In Type G, the safety is just a decocker. It does not uh, lock the gun in any way. It just decocks, pops back up. That's what I wanted. That's kind of like what a SIG decocker does. And, you know, I'm reluctant to change guns from factory specs. So I called uh, Beretta and I asked him, I was like, you know, I would like to have that type of gun instead of the Type F. And they're like, well, you know, we make a kit that you can change it. And I'm like, well, does that mean my gun has been changed away from factory specs? And they're like, uh, absolutely not, because the only difference between the Type F and the Type uh, G is that in the Type F, there is a little indent and uh, spring in the safety, and it's not in the Type G. So if you change the safety out, you've changed it to a factory spec Type G. So I got this. It is the little kit that changes it to a Type G safety. It's got a little safety in there, and it's also got a little uh, low-profile slide release. Now, I like the slide release on it. I wouldn't want it to be much thinner. So I probably won't change that. But if you look at the safety, they kind of stick out like wings. And you do can catch your finger on them while you're racking the slide. It makes it easy to engage and disengage the safety if you're using this as a safety. But if it's not going to be needed as a safety anymore, it's great that I can make those almost flush. So that'll make the gun a lot better for carry also and better for racking the slide too. So tonight I'm going to install that new safety and make this a Type G. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is take out the extractor. And there's two little springs underneath of it. Come right out there. Two little springs, one inside each other. And the little pin here. Don't want to lose any of that stuff. That's why I do it over this little caveat right here, this little uh, hole, because everything stays right in there. Next, I got to do the same thing to a little pin right inside this side safety. There's a little pin that holds it on, and I will just need to pound that out. And once that little pin is out, you got to be careful taking this off because there is a little spring under there. And you don't want to lose that little spring. Believe me, I am great at losing springs. Okay, now i got to use two punches here. I will push down on the firing pin safety. And then push in on the firing pin itself. And then push this through. I want just a little bit. And then once it's through a little bit, I can turn it up like that. And you'll see there's a little pin in there that's got to come out. And it just falls right out. It's just a little pin that goes in there. It's not under pressure or anything. And now I can slide a safety on out. If you see that little tiny ball right there, that's what makes this a Type F. Without that, it's a Type G. That's what, when you engage the safety, that little indent ball keeps it engaged and keeps it from springing back up with the spring. Without that, it'll just spring back up after you engage it and it'll be a Type G. Here's the new low profile safety and here's where I just start doing everything backwards. First thing I'll do is just stick that back in okay before I put the other side back in I gotta make sure to put the little spring in there and then I gotta make sure the little spring lines up with that little latch at the top there that little top little piece that's sticking up has to go in that little groove right there
Now I gotta put this little pin back in there. Okay, it's back on. Now you notice when I slide it down, it pops right back up. So let's just get the gun back together and see how it uh, works. All right, so let's check it out here. Rack the slide, hammer is back. I'll do it from this side, see here. Pop it down, it decocks, pops back up. It now has no active safety, it is now a Type G. So now, this gun is a great carry gun because the only thing I did not like before was that it was a Type F. Now it is a Type G. So this is a gun now that I would carry. Okay, now I don't know if I was going to say anything about this or not because I don't need any help seeming any crazier than people already think I am. But I am going to be sending this back. Actually, I'm going to be ordering another one and when I get it, send this one back because they made a little mistake on this one. When they bored the hole for the little pin to go in right here, they bored it a little off. So you can see how that safety is a little bit down. It's not all the way up flush. That one's all the way up. So they are a little off. This one never goes all the way up. And that is really, really bothering me. So I'm going to have to take this off here, put another one on there, and hope it's better because that will bug the hell out of me. FYI, I did convert back to the old style uh, safety levers here. I just couldn't stand how off the other two were. I did send them back for replacements. But, you know, I kind of like how much easier these are to engage. And I did do the alteration on these to make them Type G because uh, Beretta does make Type G safety levers that are wider like this too. In fact, this is the way they actually come from the factory unless you request the low profile ones. So now it's more like a factory Type G and it is still just a Type G. It doesn't engage. But they stick out more, easier to engage, which doesn't seem to bother me as much as those two being off, how they were off kilter a little bit. My OCD just could not handle that. So now, like I said, it's more like a factory Type G PX4 Storm.